Did you finish your homework? No, but I'm on level 15. Well, level 15 will have to wait. Fine. Hello there, I'm going to do dad, a video I need to work today. On my homework. Don't stay up too late. Sorry about my dad. Uh, he has this YouTube channel or something, so I have to do it really late. Didn't think he'd be on it right now. But I'm here to talk about Qatar. You know, the place in East, you know, Middle East? Uh, yeah, that place. It's over in the Middle East. Anyway, stock market. Alright, clarification. It's in the Middle East, yes. But it's a big supplier, third biggest in oil for the world. It just has a lot of oil. Now that you know what Qatar is, let's delve deeper into the stock market and what's happening there. So, yeah. Let's do Qatar this! Qatar holds millions of dollars worth of sh stock shares over in oil. And people have started to turn them in because they're worried about crashing. But numerous stock market crashes have happened because people overwithdrew or turned in too many stocks, resulting in a very low amount for the pricing. This brings up problems with experts who think this is a bad idea to turn them in. Because stock market crashes are never fun, and it's one of the reasons we're in a recession right now. Now, it isn't the companies who are holding these stocks, it's their citizens. They've got to find a way to make money because it, their country has so much money that their money is almost, could be almost worthless. But once again, back in 1981, people saw advantages in the stock market and tried to get money from the bank without paying back. Maybe because they couldn't because of stocks were just too high in value. This caused a boom and then a crash. It's like being on a sugar rush and then, I don't know, crashing from it too. According to charts, it would probably have been smarter to leave them in. You may lose some money, but not all of it. I mean, oil price stocks aren't too much money and they change all the But what people are thinking is it's gonna crash, and what happens is, it's probably, this has happened before. You can just fix it by leaving it in there. It's going to rise again. Have we learned nothing from the late 1980s? People affect the stock market. It goes without saying, if people buy stocks, the price for them go up. Supply and demand is the name of the game, but if everyone sells all their stocks, it's doomed to fall in a negative state. Well, I don't know, maybe, but it seems like. Chances are, problems in the stock market will solve, resolve themselves, but another part of fight, fate might just decide to say no. What Qatar needs to do is decide a little bit and be less hasty. They need to stop taking risks and turning in their shares. They need to not cause the market from the oil to crash. They need to- Five hours of ranting later. <sighs> huh? Oh.